Mobile World Congress Human AI Pin, uno dei prodotti più incredibili del 2024 secondo me e siamo qui per fare una demo e partiamo magari con la traduzione, um, the translation. Yeah, so hello, so this is translation, so okay. I can use the translation gesture which is two fingers, tap and hold, you're going to see the trust light go on which means that device is listening, so I said it to translate to Italian of course, so I said... Hello, it's so great to meet you all and welcome to Mobile World Congress. Ciao, è davvero bello incontrarvi tutti e benvenuti al Mobile World Congress. And so what's cool now is that you can speak in Italian and I'll translate to English. So, okay, let's try. Um, so again, you'll see the light go off and right when you see it, start speaking in Italian. Siamo molto contenti di essere al Mobile World Congress e stiamo vedendo tanti prodotti interessanti, soprattutto questo. We are very happy to be at Mobile World Congress and we are seeing many interesting products, especially this one. Um, grazie. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's one feature we call a translation. So okay. we're very excited for that feature to really connect people of different cultures mm -hmm. um, and to make people just feel more free and feel more connected. So another feature I'm going to show you is personally one of the features that I love most, okay. which is the music feature. Okay. Uh, we call it AI DJ. And the reason we call it AI DJ is because you can say anything from play this specific song to play this broad range of music and it'll find automatically the song you're looking for or that genre. Uh, so because this is Italian, I'm going to play Italian music. So I'm going to say, can you play some iconic Italian music? Vediamo cosa sceglie. So what it's going to do now, it's going to go and search and it's going to get a list of iconic Italian music. <laughs> okay. 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 I, I love this song. Um, so it reminds me of Costa Cruises. Um, so what's cool now, so I'm changing the volume here by scrolling up and down. Okay. But now the device is contextual, so it knows what's going on. So it knows where I am location-wise. It knows that I'm currently playing music. So now we have a feature. I'm going to pause this for now. Uh, there's a feature called AI Mic, where you pretty much tap and hold, and you just ask the device anything, and it gives you access to the world's information. Okay. So I can say, can you tell me about the history of this song? So in this case, it knows the song that's playing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's going to search for history. the history. So I'm going to put the volume back up. Okay, stiamo chiedendo... Conti per Tyro is an Italian song written by Francesco Sartori and Lucio Corantato. It was first performed by Andrea Bocelli at the 1995 San Remo Music Festival and gained international fame as a duet with Sarah Brightman titled Time to Say Goodbye. So actually, before you translate, I'm just going to have this translate. Ok, ce lo facciamo tradurre così capite anche voi. Sostanzialmente è contestuale, quindi ci ha fatto sentire con te partirò e quindi poi lui sa che se facciamo domande le facciamo su con te partirò. Ce l'ha detto in inglese e ora ce lo dice anche in italiano. Con te partirò è una canzone italiana scritta da Francesco Saltori e Lucio 48. È stata esibita per la prima volta da Andrea Bocelli al Festival di Sanremo del 1995 e ha guadagnato fama internazionale in duetto con Sara Brightman dal titolo Time to Say Goodbye. Notevole, notevole, ok. Yeah. Um, so that's some of the features okay. and a fun feature that I always love showing. Um, oh, actually, let me show you how this looks on the laser. So we just translated. And so you're actually going to see exactly what that latest uh, translation was on my hand. So we call this laser ink. Laser ink is the, the quote unquote screen that we have that acts as information. It's also contextual, so it knows what's happening and it always portrays the thing that Um, is like the top of your attention. So in this case, I want to know the answer of what I just spoke out. Mm -hmm. uh, but something that's really cool, if I go put my hand uh, back down, is like here I'm on the home screen. So on the home screen, I can see the current time, what's currently happening, and then I can see this feature called Nearby. Nearby is location-based. So when I tap it, I can actually see the exact neighborhood we're currently in. Um, so this feature is all about how do we make people feel more connected to our physical environment and to our neighborhoods and learn more about them. So. I can click in and it gives me just um, some ideas of what I can ask about this neighborhood. So I'm going to say, give me a fun fact about El Port. And then similarly, I can just speak this out loud to the device, but this is through the laser. And then, yeah, it, it gave me a fun fact. So mm -hmm. we have a scenic woodland that's located just next to us. Um, it came from medieval, et cetera, et cetera, Jewish mountain. Okay. So that's quite amazing. Um, 
And then, so that is Laser Inc. And I think another really cool feature that I really love is Capture, which is our photography feature. Okay. Um, so do you mind if I take a photo yes, of you? Yes, please. So Facciamo. for Capture, I can either tap and hold and say Capture this, or I'm going to use two fingers, double tap. Facciamo una foto a Lorenzo. There we go. Okay, gesture. Ecco, abbiamo sentito so, il suono. What you just saw is you saw that LED show up. So again, that's our trust light, which indicates that green LED means that the camera is open so that everyone around you knew that is taking yeah, a okay. photo. Uh, now if I put my hand up. I can actually, sorry. If this all, there you go. I can see that exact photo that okay. was just taken. Okay. Um, and right now what you're seeing here is only in one color. However, it actually shoots in RGB. Mm -hmm. And the, the way you download this photo is that you go onto Dot Center, which is our web interface that allows you to have access to your data. Um, and you can just download that photo straight from there. And okay. it crops it for you, it changes all the, the colors to match, the, to make the best, most beautiful photo possible. And that's called okay. AI Photographer. Okay, cool. Okay, lo sto provando anche io, ho avuto un attimo questa opportunità. Eh, ora sto provando il, il laser, vi faccio magari vedere se venite un attimo qui. Uh, chiudendo il pugno posso tornare, vedete, alla schermata principale, facendo un tap così invece posso uh, scorrere e vi faccio vedere magari semplicemente qui sganciandolo come è fatto, visto che c'è questo magnete, ve lo faccio vedere qui da vicino, c'è questo magnete per tenerlo dentro, c'è il led, c'è tutti i vari sensori, c'è qui lo speaker, il led, la telecamera e qui il pad per il controllo. Uh, quindi abbiamo visto in inglese, spero che abbiate capito un po' di cose, la demo di questo Human AI Pin, il prezzo è di 799 dollari, è in vendita negli Stati Uniti, non è ancora stato spedito, però si spera che succeda a breve, con poi un abbonamento da 24 dollari perché dentro c'è una eSIM per quanto riguarda la connettività. È un prodotto veramente incredibile, potrebbe cambiare il futuro nella teoria, va visto, va provato, bisogna vedere quante cose possono, si possono fare davvero, però avete visto, comunque già la demo in una situazione del genere ha funzionato abbastanza bene, eh, c'è tutta una questione, tutto un ragionamento se questi dispositivi sostituiranno o meno gli smartphone, probabilmente in questa prima fase assolutamente no, anche e soprattutto considerando il prezzo e le cose che non possono fare di uno smartphone, ma stiamo guardando comunque diciamo un primo accenno di futuro che sembra molto molto interessante. Fatemi sapere nei commenti che cosa ne pensate e seguiteci qui dal Mobile World Congress per tutte le altre novità.